this rain. This rain stinks. Now I have to go out in this rain and go get Gabriel from his school door. Good thing I have an umbrella. But it's wet, it's cool. Things like this is not fun. No way. Good afternoon. It is now about 1.45 Tuesday, January 3rd. I will be leaving here soon to go pick up my son from school, Gabriel, and coming back to pick up my niece and nephew and then head to work. Got to figure out where Nathaniel's going to meet me. He's going to be coming home from school. But tomorrow I find out the results of the biopsy. Um, even if you see the video, like this side here, looks a little weird. The reason why it looks weird is because it's numb. I can't feel this right here. I can't feel right from here. This I can feel. I can't feel this. can't feel this. can't feel this. Um, it's tingly. It even gets hot sometimes. Like it feels like it's a burning sensation, even though it's numb. The, the doctors feel that think that they may have, uh, when they impacted the gauze where the wound is, where they took the biopsy, that it's probably touching a nerve, or they may have pulled out a nerve when they did the biopsy, which means that it could be permanent. That means I won't be able to feel kisses either way um, I'm waiting on the results of the biopsy they should be calling me in the morning and telling me to come in to discuss um, an action plan after that so they need to find out the results of the biopsy first before they can do anything else so that's the first thing so it's all good I'm just waiting on that um, and then I uh, got work tonight. Uh, today I'm working a little bit longer than usual, an hour longer, which is cool, though. It's fun by me. Uh, kids get to come. It's going to be a good night. So uh, I'm going to let you guys see the rest of my day as I go pick up Gabriel and stuff like that. So it's been a while since I recorded this. So I'm going to try to do the vlog. I don't have school. School starts January 16th, so I have like another 13 days before school starts. So I'm gonna take advantage of it. In the meantime, I am continuing writing my book and I launched this service for uh, families called Togetherness Marriage and Family Coaching. I figure I'm in school uh, and I already have a degree in uh, counseling, so why not start helping families by uh, offering counseling and coaching services to them? So I'm going to do that. So it's called Togetherness, Marriage and Family Coaching. And it's Togetherness with a T-W-O, not just a regular T-O. So it's T-W-O, Togetherness, Marriage and Family Coaching. So I'm excited about it. Visit the website. I'll put the website link right here. Check it out. But I'm excited about it, helping families um, really get the help that I didn't get when I was going through my divorce. Maybe if, you know, did get that help, uh, I would probably still be married. I don't know. You know, me and um, my ex-wife are good today. Uh, we have grown to be two totally different people. But with the proper coaching and encouragement, you never know what could have happened. Um, it is what it is. But I'm also excited about the opportunity of moving um, forward with um, a special young lady and getting married and um, having kids and um, developing a, a family, even though it'll be blended, developing a family, all that stuff. It's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty awesome. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna leave soon to go pick up Gabriel. This rain. This rain stinks. Now I have to go out in this rain and go get Gabriel from his school door. 
good thing I have an umbrella. But it's wet, it's cool. Things like this isn't fun. No way. I got Gabriel in the back seat. Hey. We, I just ordered Domino's pizza for everybody. Uh, I don't seat. have time to cook, but I did go to the supermarket and buy some food to cook for tomorrow. Oh, long side. Uh, yo, you see that gray hair? You see the gray hair, son? It's popping. See this Domino? Want to hear what it is? Tell them. Barbecue pizza. With, what is it? I don't know. Maybe sausage and bacon and um pepperoni. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to name a few. We do it big in the Harrison household, you know what I mean? Especially since Domino's be selling their large pizzas carry out for $7.99. We go big. I'm not eating any of that stuff, though. I'm gonna have me a salad. salad. I'm yeah, having he's gonna give me some salad. of that salad. Cause like I'm also on a diet kind of. Yeah, we can have this. You just gotta you gotta stay active. My diet's a little bit different. My metabolism's slower than yours. What does that mean? That means I burn fat a lot slower than you would. Why? Because like Because I'm older. I can't see you. Oh. There you are. Because I'm older. Let me fix this camera. Adjust it. Yeah, that's much better. Because I'm older. Yeah, younger. Guys, remember this lesson. If you guys are like men, you gotta watch this. You guys have a girlfriend. You got to know. Always put her on the side of the sidewalk. Now close to the bowl. That's rude. Do that. Who told okay. you that? Uh-uh. Auntie Dee Dee. Yeah. She's home with Jesus right now. Poppy's still shopping. Dad. Yes, Papa. Do you know that the, some of the earth rotates because of us? Like, when you drive, the earth rotates Not really. The earth rotates just because... What's that? How is it a big bang theory if it's not? That could have caused Yeah, but not like not like that. The problem the problem with creation or the the or, or the or the science of origin is that it can't be proven. So Really, everything that people teach from the Big Bang Theory to creation to whatever it is, it's all theory. It's all what theory. About the God? Like God created man. That's not theory. I believe it's fact. I believe it's fact. But because but according to science, because it can't be recreated and it can't be something that you can actually do, they won't consider it as it being fact or truth. They consider it a theory. But in essence, the Big Bang is a theory also because it can't be proven. Like, there's no humans that can prove it. No, you can't recreate that. Unless if the sun was a talking thing, like in some cartoons. Hi, oh, yeah. kids, help! Oh. But the Big Bang Theory actually uh, negates a scientific concept, which uh, nothing, organization cannot come out of chaos. It just can't can't have a chaotic state and all of a sudden, randomly, organization comes out of that. Something had to make chaos organized because chaos won't organize itself. It's got to be organized by something or someone. Look, this guy's not even looking where he's going. Like... Like, I'm supposed to stop for him because he's walking. Luckily for him, you're actually looking at the road. Yeah, I mean, I care about pedestrians, but pedestrians need to care about themselves. Like, let's say that there was a car coming this way. Yeah. And they weren't looking. Like, they were driving and then you went, why don't you, why, like, you went.
graduate school getting my master's it's not easy not easy I haven't seen Egypt in a while. I think she's focusing on her school, which is good. That's good. that because she sees me as a father figure. When I heard that, people think of my dad as a father figure. Some people do. Some people do. Do you? Do you see me as a father figure? Well, I'm a father. <laughs> like, I know what you mean. Yes, I do. Like, if I was like an infant or like a kid up for adoption, Really? Good. 